A new year means a new you. And so to get into the spirit of a new you, we're making healthy stuffed bell peppers. It's a new year and everybody starts thinking about a new beginning, whether it be for their health or what they're eating mentally. So today's meal, I think that you're really gonna enjoy. It's a stuffed bell pepper. And if you're carb conscious, this is really gonna go a long ways for you. I think you're really gonna like this meal. So let's start to make it. We start by putting oil into the pan. Now this one, I'm just using extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna let this heat up for a moment. Next, we add the pork to the pan. We just start getting it ready. We're gonna brown it up. While the pork is browning, we're just gonna take our bell peppers and just kind of cut along the top. Take that top part out. I'm gonna do it again. If I had a smaller knife, it'd probably be a lot easier. Then we're gonna scoop out the insides. So now it's time to start on our cream cheese. We're just gonna put it in there. Now I have a half a thing of cream cheese. And I'm going to set it for 30 seconds, but I'm going to do this in 10 second increments. Let's check our cream cheese out. I'm going to put it in for another 10 seconds. Check it out. That's good. See how the knife is just going into there? Now it's time to put it in to our browned pork. As you can see, our pork is pretty browned up and I took our cream cheese and cut it into thirds. So we do that, put that one in there, and put that one in there. Now we're just gonna mix it all up together. I'm gonna cut the heat on this and then I'm going to let the cream cheese and the ground pork do its thing. It's been about three minutes and our cream cheese is just totally fused with the pork. So I'm going to put in some cauliflower rice. And I did use the entire container of it. And I'm just going to pat it down like this so I can put a lid over this and let everything here fuse together. Where did this cook? About five minutes. Time to start mixing everything together. We'll get that cream cheese and the cauliflower rice, which I love, with that pork. Oh man. Makes a great stuffing for inside of those bell peppers. I do have the heat on medium at this point because I don't want anything to burn. We're going to let this sit for another five minutes and then we will check it out. Another five minutes is down. I want to look at this. I'm going to taste it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. One thing I did forget to put on it is a little salt and pepper the spice of life. Down goes the salt, down goes the pepper, mix it up. I did cut the heat on this as well to low. Perfect, now it's time to start stuffing our peppers. Before we stuff the peppers, one of the things that I noticed was that I had to cut the top off of these because I have a new cooker and they didn't quite fit in there. So we're just going to stuff these in here. So I did cut them down to size. I'm 
Look at that. That's about perfect. I do love a good stuffed bell pepper. I'm gonna cook these at 350. Just put these on like that, close it up, and voila, and away we go. Let's 10 go. minutes are up, let's take a look. They're starting to sweat a little bit on the side, I like that, you know? I'm gonna put them in for the last 10 minutes, see what happens. Our 10 minutes is up for a total of 20. Let's take a look. Yeah, those are looking good. Wow, those look absolutely amazing. And you top them with a little sriracha ketchup. Oh yeah. The layers in there that you're seeing. The sriracha ketchup, you could use regular ketchup if you wanted. The bell pepper, everything, it just is damn near perfect. Let's... Seriously, it's time to try this. That is amazing. The bell pepper could have been cooked just a little bit more, but maybe five, 10 minutes at the most. But I'm telling you what, you get the bell pepper, the cream cheese, the pork, and sriracha ketchup with that cauliflower rice. It's the bomb, guys, and it's fairly healthy for you, too. But, like my buddy Phil Swift says at Flex Shop, but wait, there's more. And that's right, remember, we have a second stuffed bell pepper that we're gonna have some fun with. This bell pepper, we're gonna load up with some mozzarella cheese. Ooh, yeah. Let's put it in the oven. Into the oven it goes for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. We'll see you then. It's only been about eight and a half, nine minutes. Look at that. Look at that. Those look amazing. Yep, mmm. Hardly wait to try them. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just cut off a piece. Got the cheese, everything together. That's really good. I mean, that cheese just plays into this really well. All right, guys, the recipe's down below. Appreciate everybody for watching. Stuffed bell pepper, super easy to make. We'll talk to you later, and remember the dude abides with stuffed bell peppers.